Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to go ahead and go with an interview that I had in the past of someone who was on one of my coaching calls that got his first check for $10,300. I always say start off small. I always say I do have a few people that got a first check that was huge. This warrior was one of them. Go ahead and check this out. Here's some of the questions. Have a great weekend and I'll see everyone around. By the way, I am doing a free live training today at two. Can you just tell everyone the deal that you have working on right now? And I've asked Tom not to share the state he's in, but can you just go ahead and um, share what you have going on right now? Yeah, um, let's see. Um, I started doing surplus funds, I don't know, four or five months ago. And I just kind of started, uh, I, I jumped into state funds and I uh, kind of put all my effort there. Uh, long story short is I got a, um, uh, a client for $103,000, uh, 103000 And um, I finally, I, I just got paid uh, about two weeks ago, uh, it was at 10300 bucks from that. So, uh, yep, that's, uh, that's my first one I've closed. Pretty good start. Yeah, and you actually received the check. For, wow. You actually received the check at this point because last time we spoke, you hadn't received the check yet. You received the check, right? Yep, I've got the check. It's in the bank. So. Dude, congratulations! Yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah, I, I've learned a lot about it, and I'm learning a lot about the system. So yeah, I've got a lot, a lot of more things that I'd like to do, um, with that money. But yeah, I mean, it's it's there. I I I made it. I made one happen. So that's really good. Cool. Any, any questions for um, Tom? I've got a couple questions for you, Tom, but I want to open it up before I ask you mine. <laughs> yes. I Hello? Trina, you, Trina, you cut out. I do. I Trina. recognize that voice, okay. but you cut out. Hi. Can you hear me now? We can hear you now. Okay. Tom, yeah, I wanted to, first of all, congratulations. That's amazing. Thank you. Um, so my question is, as far as this is state funds, so the client that you worked with, did, did they push back as far as if they ask about, um, could they actually go about doing it themselves, basically, without you being involved? Uh, no, they didn't. Um, they didn't ask me. Um, I uh, basically called my client. I said, hey, uh, you, you've got, uh, you know, I said, first of all, I said, do you know that these funds are available to you? She said, um, at first I thought that they weren't, but everybody's calling me. And then she said she didn't think the funds were hers. So um, very, very good resource that we have is the state controller's office. They are very prompt, very helpful. Anytime I have a question, I email them and I usually get a response back within the hour. Me they, too. They responded back to me. They said, hey, she's got these funds available to her. I responded to her. I said, hey, you know, as far as I can tell, these funds are yours. Um, let's let's move forward with this. And it was it, it was almost like the easiest thing I've ever done. You know, this was this was pretty straightforward. So yeah. to answer your question, no, she did not push back. I'm just a numbers guy and I'm like, hey, you know, if I can get, you know, 20 or 30 contracts out a month and maybe get 10 percent of those. You know, right. that makes sense. Um, yeah, definitely. I, I don't know, but did that answer your question? Yes. And question: Did you use a notary, or did uh, you yeah. actually? Okay, so you have to you have to have a no a, a notary. You have to by law for every um, state I mean, fund, as far as I know. Right. Um, no, you're right. Did you have her? But I'm saying I should have said. Did you have the notary send the forms back to you, or did you allow the claimant to send them directly to the state? Um, okay, so this is the way I do it. And um, I, I tell them, I say, hey, I would prefer you to send the contracts to me and I can look them over. And then what I would do is because I'm such a new guy and I don't tell them this, but I would, I'll, I'll send the state controller's office, um, you know, the file, I'll scan it and say, hey, is there anything else I need before I send this to you guys? I'm, that's what I did the first time. I don't know if I do that the next time because I found it. I, I feel confident a little bit okay. of what I'm doing, but um, I also wow. give them the option to send it straight to the state controller's office because, you know, they might be like, who's this guy calling me? I don't want to send in my personal information. So I give them the option. Okay. Okay. And, you know, what I'm going to do, what I can do better is I, I want to to, you know, have a company name, I want to have an LLC. And I want to have all that stuff because it just makes you look that much better. It's a first impression, you can say, um, you know, one, one thing I've learned is the coaching call a while ago, you had somebody on it, it's we're a family owned business. I like that. I like that family owned business. I like when Dave says, with your permission, may I send you a claimant packet, stuff right. like that. That is good. And 
some kind of quick advice that I have, something that I could think I could do better that somebody else might be able to do that I can't do, is if you're fluent in Spanish, if there's some way that you can just download all the state funds that are Spanish speakers, it'll look like, I don't know if that's possible, or if there's any language that you speak that nobody else speaks, if you could tap into that market and just market those people, I think that might be a really good thing. I don't know. That's good. True. I, I don't know if you could do that. You know, you could find out all the, you know. I know Kathy's offered that. She's on the she's on the coaching call. So okay, awesome, awesome, and and that's a that's one thing I really appreciate about this is that you were frustrated about four or five months ago, correct? Yeah. Uh huh. And we you you took a deep breath. We we looked at your marketing plan, and then you just you went forward again. And and congratulations, you you um it paid off for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh uh, good evening. I have a question for Tom, if it's possible. Uh, Tom, are you working in your estate? Um, about the first thing I should introduce myself. My name is Norma. I'm located in Georgia. Okay. And uh, yeah, I'm working in California. You work in California. It looks mm -hmm. like California is more friendly with locators or, or um, private investigators. I'm in Georgia. In San, it's, I'm getting kind of hard time at the beginning. But uh, I know that I'm on the right track and always um, I hear people saying, if it's hard at the beginning, it's because something good is coming. So um, when you said you're located in California, so um, this question, maybe it doesn't, it's, it's not gonna be appropriate, I will say, because I was thinking um, at the state where you are working are necessary to be a, a private investigator or locator. Um, that was my question. Oh, do I need to be a, an investigator? Like through the state? Yes. Uh -huh. Which is actually very easy. You just send, private investigator. send the state controls on the private investigator. Oh, like just a, a state investigator. I don't know if there's a difference between a state investigator or a private investigator. But um, what I did was I sent my information to the state controller's office and they said, you are now um, an investigator with the state to try to collect uh, surplus funds from people. Did that answer your question? Yes, thank you. Yes, okay. Yeah, and um, my, my next plan here with things, you know, um, is uh, I'm going to just kind of shoot for the bigger, the bigger um, surplus fund, or the bigger state funds, and then I'm just going to say, hey, you know, I'll meet you somewhere. I'll meet you anywhere in the state of California, and I'm just going to go for it, you know, because I, <laughs> I, I need to get more contracts signed, but I don't know. That's a plan that I have, and I don't know how effective that's going to be. Um, but we'll see. I think that'll I, work. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm just going to look for the big ones. I'll be like, hey, you know, if you live in I, anywhere in the state of California, I'll drive to, to your location. And um, I called a, a mobile notary place and they, they work pretty much all over the state. And it's $69 uh, for them to meet up. And then it's $15. So, you know, um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see if that's a waste of time or not because, um people are flaky and they could not show up or whatever. And um, I, I think with state funds, they could still um, take the money. I, I don't think they would as much, but I, I believe if there's back taxes owed, they can take the funds from that. So. Mm, this is Will. Um, I think it'll work because I, I only been on the surf. I only been having my course for like three weeks and uh -huh. I found a client and um. I was hitting them up and they wouldn't respond back, but then it, it was kind of skeptical about it. I told them, I'll meet you right now. And when I said I meet you, I went and met them, talked to them face to face. And then after that, now I uh, got the first contract signed and now I'm working on the rest of the heirs because it's, it's a, um, from their parents. So right. sometimes just meeting them face to face may make a difference. Right. And I don't know. I mean, in my short time uh, dealing with this stuff, I, sometimes you just have to get in front of people and say, I'm here, let's move forward. And um, I don't know, with state funds, it just seems like there's just so many state funds out there. Like if I come across somebody who's rude or who, you know, you get cussed at all the time. I just, I leave them alone and, you know, I don't have to call them back because I've got a list of so many people to call, but that's just me, you know? Mm 